In chapter 10, we're going to be playing the game of telephone, which is a children's game where um, you uh, sit in a circle with your friends and the first person whispers a secret to the person next to them and that person whispers a secret to the next person and it goes around uh, until it gets to the last person where the um, uh, the last person says what they heard out loud and so it's fun to hear how the message changed as it passed from from one person to another. So uh, we're going to pretend that we're kind of playing that game. Given some sort of an input text, we're going to um, iterate through some number of mutations and we're going to randomly change one of the characters in the string. So it's not quite as much fun as the original game, but it's a, it's a way to pretend uh, uh, to, to play with how can we uh, mutate strings and it's also how can we play with uh, randomness and uh, with sampling and uh, just kind of pursuing some more of these ideas. So the name of our program is going to be called Telephone. And <clears throat> what it's going to do is take uh, some text, probably from, uh, maybe from the command line, maybe from a file, and it's going to repeat it back. It's going to say, you said, and then the text that we got in quotes, and then it's going to say, I heard, and it's going to print back um, a mutated string, one that's been randomly mutated uh, with some number of, of mutations. So uh, in this we're going to be talking about how we're going to uh, round numbers if you haven't done that before. Uh, we're going to be using the string module um, in the way that I solve this problem. You could come up with a different solution that doesn't use that uh, and that's totally fine. And we're going to talk more about modifying strings and, uh, and especially how strings and lists relate to each other as far as helping to introduce uh, these random point mutations. So um, one of the arguments uh, that the program might take is a dash m or dash dash mutations option, which is going to be a floating point number between 0 and 1. And the default is going to be 0 0.1, which is going to be 10%, meaning we're going to change 10% of the letters uh, in, in, the, in, in our mutation. So if, uh, if there's a, a value of 0.5, it means 50% of the letters will be changed. And, and you can see that when we do that, the, the, the message starts to become almost unreadable when we, when we change 50% of the letters. Um, uh, we're going to be using the random module, so that means uh, that for testing purposes, again, we're going to be uh, accepting a dash uh, S or dash dash seed option. And sticking with how uh, I, I'm going to do things consistently in this text, uh, that seed should be an integer value. Um, it doesn't have to be an integer. Uh, seeds can be strings or any other hashable value in Python. Uh, but just for the purposes of these programs, we're going to use integers. So looking at a string diagram, just a high-level overview. We're going to get some text, some number of mutations, possibly a random C. That's what's going to go into our program. And what's going to come out is this modified text. Um, so if, for instance, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, we're going to get back out this message over here, uh, quite a big jumble. If we give an input file, um, we're going to get back the same uh, text uh, from the input file. And, uh, and if we have a, a greater number of mutations here, it's going to jump from 10% of mutations here. It's uh, 0.4, so 40% of the, of the text has been mutated. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing in this exercise.